Hey guys, how's it going? So a couple of really fun things for today. First off, I wanted to start here in the greenhouse to show you some really fun plants that the kids and I picked up last night. And uh, then my mom is on her way and we are gonna harvest some of the lemons that we have in here. And we're gonna do some cocktail experimentation in the Hartley. I'm so excited. Look at the fun color and beautiful plants we have here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We were on our way to meet my family for dinner in the same sort of area that Franz Woody is in. And we made a little detour trip to go see if they had any early, early color. And they did. They've got kind of a little heated area off of their main shopping. Like they have the, the store section and then a covered heated area and then the outside shopping. In that covered heated area, they typically bring in, you know, primrose and hellebores and they usually have some, some selection really early. And I think my parents are going to be getting in their first load of spring color this next week. I'm hoping to be down there to help unload that. Uh, but anyway, I was just so excited to get my hands on some things so we can work on some projects this week. Huh. I had to cover all the grasses last night because of this one. You stay away, Russell, from the grass. Okay, so let's just walk through what we picked up and the kids had such a fun time, I loved it. Beautiful primrose, the most delicate, creamy white with pink. The Bellerina pink ice is what these are called. There's a couple of them here. Uh, there's a blue, something Baltic, I think. Yeah, Bellerina Baltic blue. Aren't those just so pretty? I love the double flowers. I mean, these are primrose too, but you can see the difference here. This one is the Primlet Sunrise. Benjamin picked this one out. Samantha Grace picked this one. This one's kind of on its way out, but she was so excited. This is an apple blossom, which is one of my favorite colors of primrose. We got some big, bright, beautiful pink cyclamen right here. Love the foliage, even without the blooms, the foliage is beautiful. Uh, I don't know how this one got here. <laughs> this was part of a, a load from earlier, but this right here is a Kramer, Erica Kramer's Red. Looking awesome. A few Carex, these are the Evergold Carex. I've got a couple right here as well. A Dianthus called Pink Kisses, which reminds me a little bit of this primrose, kind of the same sort of, no, maybe it doesn't. <laughs> I don't know, this one is not hardy though in our area. It's only hardy to 20, I think. Yeah, hardy to 20. Oh, here's my mom. I thought I heard her pulling in. Hello? Hello. Are you ready to cocktail it up? Yes! <laughs> How fun! You want to come see some fun plants? The sun came out. Oh, it's beautiful. Yes, it's beautiful. Isn't it fun? Wow. Oh, I love this color of pink. It just looks so cheerful. Oh, it's so pretty. <gasps> Ooh, isn't that beautiful? Yes. So guess which one Benjamin picked out? Oh, all of this. Yep. All of this. Did he pick out this? Nope. Did he pick out this? Yes. <laughs> you, you nailed it. That, yeah. And guess which one Samantha picked out? That. Yes? Yes. <laughs> oh. Anyway, I love these. Aren't those oh, fun? You know, they always have nice topiaries. Yeah. Yeah, that is Anyway, really I was pretty. just craving. I love these. This yes. is an alpino early lime. We were just walking oh. through all these plants. Take a look at them. So pretty. Because we're all craving this right now. Dad and I discovered today we were walking down in the... Um, the meadow, uh -huh. the meadow, and we have um, snowdrops blooming. Oh, nice! Yeah, and tr some little trilliums. Oh, yeah. very fun. Yeah, mom's gonna harvest the lemons while Are we. Are these left-handers? No, <laughs> sorry, but they do have my name on them. Uh, yeah, so yeah. that makes a difference. Yes, it does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, Russell. Get away from the grass. Okay, so there's a lemon cypress right here. The ivy topiaries that are so beautiful. I, mean, I know exactly what I'm gonna do with this one right here, and we've got a variegated lemon thyme and then I think we just looked at this this is the saxifrage alpino alpino early lime which I love this one's hardy down to negative 30 so that's a zone for a spring bloomer a variegated sage this one is the ice sterina golden right here uh, we looked at the carex there's a uh, cone shaped lavender this one's a Goodwin Creek and then we've got a few hellebores here. I think I've got a couple of the same variety. There's the early red right here. I think this is the same thing. The kids were kind of filling the carts as well. So I felt like I felt like I lost control there for a minute because Benjamin had a shopping cart all of his own. Oh. And so it's like, I don't know what's going on yeah. or what's going into the carts. Yeah. But anyway, there's some woolly thyme here. There's um, a, that's another lemon variegated, another lemon variegated. There's a parsley. 
a Greek oregano, this really cool ivy. Oh, so pretty. Isn't that cool? Yeah. I like the shape of those leaves. Oh, and then this one is a Picotty, Picotty hellebore. Really, really pretty. However, I think the prettiest hellebore I have, yeah. I think it's this one right here. Isn't that awesome? Oh, it's so pretty. You know what? I always think these nodding heads, uh -huh. they always look like they're like shy. Yeah. They're like sweet shy flowers. Well, yeah. yeah. They're not like trying to show off. Right. They're understated. Yes. Under <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, how do these look? Well, good. This one was on the ground, so it's kind oh, of like. That one actually fell, I think, off of the tree, this oh, tree. Okay. They're different. I think these are Myers right here. They, they seem like And this it. is a different variety. This one's kind of. It's soft. Yeah. Yeah. We could need that thing. Yes, we can. Nice. Juicy. Okay, so those are the plants that you will probably see showing up in projects here in the next week or two. Uh, so the cocktails that we have, one is a champagne base mm. and gin, champagne and gin. The other one is more like a gimlet. It has gin and, and mint and lime and lemon. And then the other one's a bourbon base. So we thought we would make one of each and then maybe share. Yeah. We don't want to be knocking back no, three whole cocktails no. a piece. Cats all over. Like I know. What did you just call me? The cat lady. There's cats everywhere. <laughs> just, just two. Well, you know what? These cats, though, they just showed up. I well, this one didn't. Well, no, not him. But yeah. but Cheddar and and Russ are um, Douglas. Yeah. They just showed up. Yeah. Right. Here he comes, and then we'll yeah. they'll fight. He's actually really pretty. He is pretty. Yeah. Have you ever oh, eaten a kumquat? No. You want to try one? Yes. Okay. okay. So do I just have to make sure that it's pretty soft? Yeah. Let's see. How does that one feel? What? About, Feel this one. See what you think of that one. Well, this is a good one too. That one, good one. Okay. So you just pop the whole thing in your mouth. You're not tricking me, are you? No, I warned you. The inside's tart, but the peel is. Got to give it a minute. The peel is sweet. Mm -hmm. it feels weird to eat a rind or a peeled. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I like it. It's really like. <laughs> Oh. Uh. Sour, yes. <laughs> but it has sweet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not not too bad. Mm -hmm. Somebody said that you put the kumquats, or you could put kumquats whole, like in a in a bottle, and then cover them with vodka, mm -hmm. and let them set for a long time, and then you have yourself like an infused vodka. I feel like that's like the best way to use mm -hmm. them. Tastes a little bit orange. You yeah. Know what I mean, mm -hmm. like that rind is a little bit orange. Uh huh. But it's the texture of the rind is like surprising at first yeah because it kind of pops in your mouth yeah i, I heard that i heard you <laughs> fit right into that and i'm like yeah. <laughs> time to chase it okay you guys so i did try to pull the blinds and our sun is just a little too low so before we get started here i just wanted to show you how pretty it is with the sun coming in makes the glassware look all sparkly yeah. but i will pop a shade up right here so it's easier mm -hmm. for us to manage but i just wanted to show you everything that we've got here um, a couple of low balls. We'll put the French 75, which is our champagne cocktail in here because I don't have any tall like champagne glass flutes. Those are perfect. You but that's something we need it. to look for. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. We've got a couple of coupe glasses, some mint, um, ice. We've got our champagne, which mom and I have never opened before. <laughs> I think I want to take it outside of the structure. Oh, yeah. I don't want it you breaking wanna... any glass. No. <laughs> and we need to point it away. Also, this is Samantha's salads. She made these the other day oh. when I was grooming. She would take oh. all the leaves that I pulled off the plants and she said she was making salad. Oh, that's cute. I know, so I left them there. <laughs> and okay, so we've got our citrus, we've got our bourbon, we've got the Woodford Reserve there, and then we've got a couple of gins here, the Botanist and Hendrix, and then we've got some pure maple syrup, which we will be using as a simple syrup in one of the cocktails, club soda, and then I do have a simple, regular simple syrup right here. Let's pop a shade up. It's hot in here. It is hot in here. Okay, so do you want to make the champagne one first? Okay, yeah. Or the gin one or the bourbon one? I think we should do the champagne one first. Well, it's still chilled. Yeah, and also, so we can get opening that up over. Okay, <laughs> over with. <laughs> we could relax the rest of the time. Yeah. <laughs> so this cocktail, the French 75, calls for one and a half ounces of gin, three quarters ounce of fresh lemon juice, three quarters ounce of simple syrup, uh, two to three ounces of chilled champagne, and then a lemon peel for garnish. Sounds pretty easy. It does. Um, so it do, we do have to fill a cocktail shaker with ice. Yes. So I think somehow we, we have un to undo that and then we have to like go like that. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, let's go outside. If you want me okay. to do it, I can. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> that was far less of a big deal than I thought it was going to be, <laughs> thankfully. Well. But if you've not ever oh. done it. So I'm going to have a camera set up, you guys, so we can get a close up so you can see what we're doing here. So that's what's going on here. This is just informal, <laughs> chill chill day, right. chill afternoon in the Heartly. Okay. okay, so we need three quarter ounce of fresh lemon juice. I have this lime juicer from William oh. Sonoma that's so yeah. awesome. Yeah. <gasps> what just happened? Just broke that right in half. The lemon? Yeah. Oh, put it right here. I was just gonna juice it a little oh. bit. Oh, oh. Do we have a, a towel? Oh, yum. There's paper towels in the oh, in the perfect bin because there's lime juice or lemon juice on your table. Boy, look at that! Look at that! That is a ripe lemon right there. Oh, yum! <laughs> I told you they needed to be harvested. Oh, oh. <laughs> that was intense. It was intense. It smells so yummy. Oh, look at all the juice. Yeah, and the smell is so good. Okay, so that's an ounce right there. So we only need three quarters of an ounce. Fill a cocktail shaker with ice. Done. Pour in gin. Okay. How much gin? One and a half ounces of gin. Which one do you want me to use? You can just use this one if you want. Or the Hendrix? Uh, Hen uh, or do the, the botanist. botanist. Yeah. Okay. One and a half ounces is to the line. Okay. And then two to three ounces of champagne. Wow. It's kind of deceiving, isn't it? Mm-hmm. <gasps> okay. Three quarter ounce of which this is a half ounce. This is a one tablespoon, so I'm just gonna do one and a half of these. Okay, and then we do three quarters ounce of simple syrup, so the same mm -hmm. thing. Maybe one and three quarters. Mm -hmm. A little sweet little, side. Yeah. <laughs> and then we do two to three ounces of chilled champagne, but I don't think we put that in there, do we? Yeah, no, we don't put that in there. That would be a disaster, wouldn't it? Shake a carbonated beverage. <laughs> Oh, the glasses are so pretty. Ina Garten says you have to do it for 30 seconds, right? And I believe she said it's yeah. real. Oh. And now we do two to three ounces of champagne. I wonder if we should start on the two ounce side of things. Okay. So this is an ounce, this is two tablespoons. That was mostly fizz, I think. I'm gonna do one more. Yeah. Oh, it's really pretty. And, and then, then what kind of a garnish? A lemon twist. Lemon twist. So do we want a different lemon? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's let's see if we can do a lemon twist. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know for real. Maybe like like that. Do you have the flesh in there, or is it just the peel? Oh, I, I, I don't know, but I think it'd look pretty with that with the flesh. Okay. Just drop it in. Yeah. Okay. French seventy-five. Mm. It says you can make the simple syrup with honey too. Mm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. It's really mild. Ooh. Yeah. That's yummy. It is good. That twist is going to have to go in this glass. Okay, perfect. Ooh, I love the glass. This is a really good, like really good. Yeah. And it'd be good in the summer. Yes, it would. Mm -hmm. It could be that wonderful lemon too. It could be, I don't know. You know, I'm not like a huge champagne fan, like straight champagne. Yeah. Do you I like, like it? Uh -huh. Do you? Yeah. I'm not too. Um, and I don't picky. know what's <laughs> nice champagne and what's, what's, bad cha what's bad champagne. Well, I think you would if you, drink it a lot probably it's like wine or anything you you can do you, are you familiar with this one I've seen the name before so I bought it <laughs> I don't you know, know I don't not, buy champagne very yeah, often I'm, we should uh, FaceTime Monica real quick usually she picks up right away shaker just blew a gasket and it went right up in the air and fell on the on the table. Oh. 
<laughs> and we've been on edge anyway because we had to uncork one of these and we've never done it before. <laughs> And this is called um, a French 75. Oh, that's one of my favorite cocktails. Oh, serious? Well, that is a keeper. That is so good. Okay. I was Yum. thinking I should have done a charcuterie board so we could <laughs> have something to eat while we that's did okay. this. But I think we should do the south side next. Okay. So the south side, you guys, is going in the coupe glasses right here. Oh, They're so, so pretty. pretty. Half of the fun of this is the stemware. It really is. I love yeah. it. Yeah. So we're gonna muddle six mint leaves, and then we add in two ounces of gin, half ounce of lime juice, half ounce of lemon juice, half ounce of maple syrup, and then we shake it and strain it into these mm. into this cup. Mm. Um, yeah, I don't think I brought anything to muddle with. I wonder if we can muddle with like the end of our- Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure. And thankfully we do have a sink in here and because we're kind of using a lot of the here, same I can stuff- go. I can go. We're just gonna rinse. We're not gonna out. wash it out completely between. Let's see, okay, six mint leaves. One, two, three, you have to be very precise. Four, five, I want good size ones, six. This goes at the bottom of here. Just we muddle, gotta muddle it. it. Okay. Muddle the heck out of it. Okay. And then we'll probably want uh, mint leaves to garnish. What am I supposed to be muddling it with? <laughs> <laughs> well, I just said muddle, so maybe we could put our lemon juice in there. Here, let me get you some lemon Ooh, juice. Oh, you should smell this. Oh, yum. Oh, did you see that, zet, that what's it called, that <laughs> spray? Oh. Woo, watch. Oh, <laughs> what is that called? Effervescence. <laughs> <laughs> let me give you. That's just over one, so I'll just give you like that much. <laughs> that little extra drip oh. made all the difference. Okay, I need to get some lime juice in there too. Okay. So we are Yum. doing this. This is awesome. This, this is, is an awesome way to spend an afternoon. I know, yeah. the best. Yeah. We need to do this more. Oh yeah, that half gave me almost two tablespoons. Okay. There we go pretty precise. Well, you know how I be. <laughs> <laughs> so now we need to do a half ounce of the maple syrup. Look at that, look at that lemon. Well, I put that in there. Oh, that was my extra lemon juice. <laughs> I thought it was oh. like juicing from the bottom. <laughs> my lemons are amazing. <laughs> I thought, what in the world <laughs> kind of a lemon is that? <sighs> okay, now two ounces of gin. I guess we can just split this one between yeah. the two. Yeah. And we gotta have another lemon twist. <laughs> hey, that worked just fine. It didn't really it? did, yeah. <laughs> so I think we can garnish with a mint leaf. Okay. And, oh, there's a little mint fl floating around in here too. Yum. This looks just like a gimlet. This is like a gimlet, but with mint instead of basil. Mm -hmm. And then our lemon twist as well, which just wedge. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mm. I don't know what that taste is. Is it the mint? Is it too tart? Not tart at all. Really? No. Ooh, that's yum. It is. It's the maple syrup. Is that it? It gives it a warmth. Yeah. you think? Yes, it does. Instead of just, you could use a regular simple syrup yeah. and it would be like exactly like a gimlet. Yeah. But this with mint, is good. it is good. Mm. Well, two for two. Mm -hmm. You suppose you'd like it better with just a regular simple syrup? No, I like it just like this. You know, another option, did I already say you could make your simple syrup with honey instead of regular mm -hmm. sugar? I don't really that like the flavor of honey too much. And oh, cocktails I love either. honey. Do you like honey? Yeah, I love honey. Mm. And honey is so medicinal, so we could have a cocktail that's medicinal. <laughs> There's it's that. a twofer. <laughs> okay, so the next one is the bourbon smash, which we're going to use our lowball for. Uh, we've got two ounces of bourbon, a quarter of a lemon sliced into two wedges, five large mint leaves, one ounce of maple syrup, and then a splash of soda water. We're going to muddle our mint with our lemon, and then we're going to add everything else and shake and strain over ice. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, it's said to even add the splash of soda water. Mm. Maybe that froths it up a little yes. bit. Yes, I'll go wash the, okay. the deal. Again. I will get the lemon cut up. Okay. Boy, I bought way too many limes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you can always use those. You know what? I did my, a menu plan for this week, and I think I need them for two of our dinners. Mm. 
So that works out perfect. Yeah. Oh. So tonight we're having a chicken spinach taco salad that's got like black beans and mango and chicken. Oh, that uh, sounds good. Tortilla chips. And then you make a um, jalapeno, jalapeno ranch avocado dressing that does have lime juice in it um, to put over the top. It's super delicious. That sounds really good. What okay. time is dinner? <laughs> <laughs> Anytime you want it to be. I know. You're so good. Okay. I'm going to get a close up of this lemon bean cut. I swear there's a difference. There's a total difference between homegrown yeah. lemons. Oh, yes. There's some crops like potatoes. I'm like, well, I can't tell a difference in Except flavor. Except you know, you know what's in them. Right, that's true. You know that there hasn't been a whole bunch of pesticides right. or herbicides. True, but know. that's about it. Yeah. Flavor-wise, I can't tell on some things. No. But, but citrus, Yeah. I can tell. I can tell, too, sometimes on onions. Oh, can you really? They're, they're more bright and... Can you say oniony? Yeah. <laughs> like, more potent. Yeah, I guess yeah. so. Yeah. Ooh, okay. That's pretty. So we're gonna muddle oh. the lemon. That smells so delicious. Yes. Okay, muddle those with five mint leaves. Five. Much easier to muddle straight lemon juice. Yeah. But, oh well. But you know what? With that, it might be the the peel and things that you know you get more of that essence. See, that's not bad at the end of a knife. So we're going to add two ounces of bourbon and one ounce of maple syrup. Okay. One this ounce. is a neat bottle. Yeah. Did you know I have three of those? Oh, I really? keep buying them because I think I don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> and I go and I'm like, oh dang, I already had one. <sighs> Some of the, um, the designers that do these bottles, mm -hmm. I mean, the bottles are beautiful. Yeah, they are. So where's your little thing for the ounces oh, for here's, this? There's oh. a sphere kind of, it's yeah. kind of melting a bit. Okay, so two ounces of the bourbon. So how many of these? I want two. That's a full ounce right there. It's two tablespoons. Okay. And then it says a splash of club soda. Okay. Should we, okay, should we, <laughs> I hope it doesn't blow up. It won't, will it? Nah. Oh, it smells delicious. It's okay. probably just right. <laughs> I gotta shake it over ice. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna put another one of these. We're supposed to serve them over crushed ice. Uh -huh. Actually, <laughs> wait. We're splitting this, right? Okay. Yeah, we're gonna split so I got it. another sphere in here. Yeah. Plus, we did wash our hands before all this, by the way. <laughs> just so you know. Ooh. Now, does this have any kind of a garnish? It didn't say so, no. but you could garnish with whatever, I'm assuming. Like, let's see, maybe we do... A little thing, and maybe a little mint. Sure. What do you think about? Just like a little leaf, just so it's pretty. Look at this. Oh, there you go. There's the twist. Yep. There it is. Juicy. Cheers. Cheers. Oh yeah, this is yeah. where it's at. This is the money drink right here. This is it. Bourbon smash. Mm. We need to make these. Mm -hmm. um, Joseph and Monica and your dad would love these. Yeah, they would. And Nick. So Nick. easy too. Nick might too, mm -hmm. yeah. Boy, that, that twist is like, woo, oh. you can smell it. So it's the mm. full deal. It's the look, first off, it's super pretty. It is pretty. And then the, um, the smell. This is probably my favorite of all three. Yeah, if I had to order one of these, mm -hmm. I would definitely order that one, but I would order any of those I would three. Too. Okay guys, this was a really fun way. It was. To spend the afternoon. Yeah. Harvesting the lemons, it's always fun to be able to harvest your own stuff and then really just use it right away yeah. and see what a difference it makes to the flavor of things. And we were just talking about like how to rank these drinks and how, like the num number one drink for both of us was the bourbon yeah. based one, the bourbon smash, and then the French 75, which was the champagne, and then the South Side, which was just gin. Yeah. They're all amazing, mm -hmm. but we were wondering how much the fresh lemons has to do with the flavor. 
Yeah. In the end. I think it has a lot to do with it. I really do too. Yes. And we did the, I think mm -hmm. this is closer to an actual twist. <laughs> it, it's so pretty. It but is. these lemons are, they look like oranges. They do. I mean, they're that's, so juicy. They are so, so juicy. And every time we twisted, I twisted it over the cup and it would spray like this powder. Yeah. Uh, like it yeah. looked like a powdery, like a, mm -hmm. just a mist yeah, of that mist lemon of spray, which was awesome. Yeah. And I honestly don't think I would change any of the ratios. We mm -hmm. followed exact recipes yeah. here. Uh, we will link all of them down below. I just Googled like lemon based cocktail recipes and I, I read through a lot of them, but I found a few. I'm glad we only did three. <laughs> we yeah. only, we only, and we only, we shared them. All we did. Three of them. Yeah. yeah, we only made one full cocktail of each one, and then just mm -hmm. did halves on them. Anyway, those three, I'm super happy with. Yes. And we'll have They're to keepers. try. They are definitely mm -hmm. keepers, yeah. and we'll have to try the other ones a different day. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, lemons keep for so long on the plants. Mm -hmm. uh, that that that's kind of a, a fun thing, and mm -hmm. I can't remember how many we have left. Four. We have four of our harvested mm -hmm. lemons left in here. And we made a mess. Yeah, we, <laughs> you know, we did make a little bit of a mess, but having the sink here in the Harley is so good. And this is yeah. one of the reasons why yeah. I wanted this structure yeah. Love it. right here. We need to yeah. do more of this, just hanging out and trying things out mm -hmm. and chatting. Mm -hmm. um, that's, that's how it should be. Yeah, it's exactly how yeah. it should be. Anyway, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. I know it's a little bit of a different flavor. <laughs> for today. But a lot of what we, our goal is, I guess, is growing things that we can then use in our everyday life. So this is just one of the very small, <laughs> a small example of one of the ways we do that. Yeah. So yeah. anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, mom, for coming over and oh, partaking. Anytime. <laughs> and we will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye.